3D Coat has quite a few retopology tools, all of which are very powerful and actually help make retopologizing fun. So let's just jump right in and get our hands dirty. With the Point and Faces tool, you can quickly place points on the underlying object and then commit polygons to those areas. Another tool, Split Rings, makes it very simple to add edge loops. The Quad tool allows you to extend the selected edges out in any direction. While the Move Vertices tool is great for tweaking vertices, edges, and polygons along an underlying object. While the Extrude tool may seem generic, this is only a name. It differs from standard extrusion tools in that it attempts to adhere to the underlying surface topology. You can quickly slide edges or use the brush tool to move vertices around. Also, by holding the shift key, you can smooth vertices based on the brush size and the surrounding vertices. You can delete polygons or edges. You can also add an edge or edge loop manually with the Add Split tool. Also, if you have missing and closed polygons, you can create a quad quickly by using the Point and Faces tool, or triangles by using the Cap tool. The Cap tool can also be used on any area that has open edges. The Strokes tool is one of those hidden gems inside 3D Coat and it makes light work of retopologizing cylindrical objects. Here I have an example with an organic object. You can control the density of the mesh generated by the tool with the control sliders, as seen here. Another example of the cap tool here. It works best for placing polygons on the pole of an object. There are many more retopology tools in 3D Coat, and there are many ways to use each of them. 3D Coat has the absolute solution for retopologizing objects in ease of use and speed.